But Mickey first game back, how good was that? Well, it did very well. I, I, I'll be honest, I was worried before the game when I seen the the type of fixture that we'd taken on for our first pre-season game. And considering that we probably only have about 12 players, um, which would be fair, I'm not trying to sort of say that the other boys who come on didn't do very well, but we, we, we only have 12. We need to we need more players. But the shift that they put in, we, we did a wee bit of tactical work to, to try and see where we were up to. We knew the way that Rangers would play, we knew what the asks would be, um, and the players stuck to it. The centre backs and the goalkeeper and the midfield players, all of them put in a real shift. Uh, and it was it was really pleasing to see and it's something for us to build on. We'll be most of them, I mean, they've played longer than I wanted them to play, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I had to do it because of the quality of Rangers. I couldn't, I couldn't be bringing on all the young boys too early. Um, I wanted to keep the game a contest. But a lot of them have run out an hour there. Natty's done the full game. Joe's done the full game. Most of them's done an hour. Um, I wouldn't really have wanted to do that this early in pre-season. But we've not got any injuries. We'll, we'll look after them now next week. Uh, and a game that, that's made them work very, very hard. Uh, we'll need to take care of next week now, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and hopefully be able to add to the group over the coming weeks because we need players. We're, we're still a number of players short, I believe, of, of where we want to be. And you mentioned about you know sort of players playing so many minutes, and of course players arriving now are coming in in different conditions, aren't you? So you've got to ease them back into pre-season as well. Yeah, well we had we, we had Cal McDonald today who's got shin splints, so he's not wasn't able to play, and McManaman. We'll, uh, we'll get a good week's training under his belt and we'll finish the week with an in indoor, uh, in internal if you like, uh, 11 v 11, which will give him some match time, he's just coming back from Australia. So we'll, we'll be pepped up by another couple of bodies, but like I say, we'll be on the beat, we, day, we need more, there's no doubt about that, we need more players, we need more quality players to, but to build on, as you've seen, the desire and the commitment and, and the quality at times of the group that, that played. Um, is, is very pleasing. So we've got something to build on, but we need more. You mentioned quality, of course, and you know Kieran Morris very, very well. I mean, he's, he's got that in his game. Perhaps we want a bit more of that, but a terrific strike today. Yeah, as soon as you see him getting on his left foot, and you know that he's going to make the goalkeeper work because he is a, a really good player. And I, as soon as I came back, I was working hard to make sure that I retained him here because I know how good a player he is and, and how good a person he is. It's important that we try and retain the types of people, and you know, I'm delighted to be here. And it was a fantastic goal. You, you mentioned about uh, how hard Rangers made you work there. Must be a lot of confidence though that the players have stuck it out like that. I mean, that's something they can put in the locker now and sort of say, yeah, we've competed with that today. Yeah, when you've got the type of players that we've got, like Spearing and, and Davis and Clark, Knight Percival, Joe and Goal, they know what's important and they know what's, what's what that you don't really have to pay attention to and then they know what the crucial work was. So every time that the ball comes into the box, they made sure that they went to work and they knew the graft that they had to do and they were able to do that all afternoon. I was, I, was, I was really comfortable with them because I know how good the players that they are in an 18 yard box. I've worked with them all before. So every cross that came in, I just, I know you've got three warriors in there that will fight hard along with Joe and I said all of them, Jay Spearing, put in a terrific shift. So it was a good day's work for us, but that's all it is. It's a day's work and something that's for us to work on. Fans back inside the ground, which is great, but to see more of those as the season goes on, and that's going to help the players as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, to listen, the football is all about the fans. Without the fans, it is, no, it is not a product, it's, it's, it's just a game. But the fans brings the passion, brings the, the, the we have to go and represent them, and we we the oohs and the ahs, and the, uh, you, you get a group of people who love the football club, and we've got to put a performance in for them. So it was great to see them back today, and I'm, I'm sure that they're, they were pleased with a lot of what they did today, but we know we've got to do more, but we'll get fitter and we'll add bodies to it and, and we'll put more structure to it um, and hopefully keep moving it in the right direction. You mentioned adding bodies per minute a couple of times there. I mean, are you getting close to that or is it because we're so early in, in, in July at the moment, is it patience? Sometimes, sometimes, but we need to get better at getting things over the line. I think we need to be more aggressive with getting players in, um, but we'll do that. We have a great relationship with the chairman, but he knows, he'll know that because I've told him that we need to get more players in, but we're still short of bodies. Um, and if we're going to do what we want to do, which is be a real force in this league at the right end of it, we need to bring the bodies in. The, the, the sooner we can get them in, the better quality we can get in, uh, the better. But we'll, we'll, 
hopefully work very hard on that and we can see some, some new faces pepping up the group because they deserve, they deserve um, some, some support the boys because to, to ask 12 of them to, to do what they've done today I, I, was, I wasn't quite happy with but we, we did it in the end and we've come out of it unscathed um, but I wouldn't want to be doing that too often. I don't know if you've had a, a formal release to this. Does that mean there's still a couple of conversations taking place with players who were here last season? No, I think, I think listen, there, there was players that were offered contracts and they decided to go elsewhere. I don't think it's fair to, to, to name them uh, now, but there was, there was players before I came back were offered deals or were, or were offered to come in and speak to the club. Of course, sometimes I can't stand here and say to you what the club's business is because that's not my role and it's, it's a, that's a private I try and be transparent as possible with you about your football club, our football club. Sometimes that's other business, but it's assured that the ones that probably everybody believed we would like to keep, we offered deals to, that they decided they wanted to go everywhere else, and that's their, that's their, that's their want, that's, that's up to them. But we, we're confident that we can keep moving forward, we can just keep bringing good players in, um, and keep getting on that unbelievable pitch with good players in, in their force. And obviously you coming back, Nicky, just shows your special relationship with the club, how special it is to you, and you want to bring success this time round as well. This time round? <laughs> <laughs> You're a hard task, man. I am today, aren't yeah. I? <laughs> I, I I've, I've, I've moved to the area now, I'm going to live here, so I'm going to move to the world, we're, we're in and about, I'm hoping about four weeks, my family's still in St Andrews at the minute, I'm Scotland, but we've bought a house, so we'll move to the world very soon, and yeah. I'm fully committed to to want to keep moving Tramier forward. I love being in and among the fans. I've got to say the amount of people that, as I've been out doing my walking and doing my walks along the promenade, that, that have said to me that they're pleased that I'm back. And the unity that I have with them has been great for the soul. Not for one moment have I, have I, did I believe that it wasn't the right thing to do to come back to, to this fantastic football club. And I want to keep building it. It's, it feels so special to me. Um, and along with his, his group of players and hopefully some additions and the chairman will be able to deliver that for you.